Hello everyone, welcome to Revere Urban Homestead, the bathroom edition. My wife has gone to Chicago for like four days, and I decided I am going to re-renovate uh, the bathroom in our master bath, or in our master bedroom. It's not a big bathroom as you can see. It has this beautiful wallpaper on here since we bought it. If you can look over here at this wall, I started taking that wallpaper off about, I don't know, two years ago and I stopped right here. So, two years later, I'm gonna get back to doing it. Now, one way to take off wallpaper, so much easier than buying that chemical crap that you gotta wear a face mask and all that, warm water in a spray bottle, spray it down, get this soap, just warm water, spray it, get the soap all nice and moistened up. Look at that. Comes right off. No chemicals, no nothing. Just water. So, if you think it's really hard to take off uh, wallpaper, it really isn't. Pretty easy. So anyway, I'm going to take off the rest of this wallpaper. We're going to paint it. We're going to get a new vanity. We're going to get a new sink. We're going to take that medicine cabinet down and maybe put a big mirror up. And we're going to get it all done before Mama gets home from Chicago. So it'll be a nice surprise. I like to do that every once in a while. When she leaves, I'll make a project out of it. So she doesn't know about it. So I'm going to get back to the wallpaper, and then I will show you the next step. All right, last wall. So you peel off the pretty paper on top and then that all that's left is the glue. Spray it down with warm water or hot water. Let it sit for a few minutes. It hasn't really sat for a few minutes but let's see what we can do. Voila! Okay so I just kind of drew a little schematic real quick. That is the light that's up there now. It's 18 inches three light bulbs in it, the inner hole for the medicine cabinet that is there, the soap and the uh, toothbrush installed into the wall pieces, I got measurements on that, measurements on the sink, measurements on the counter under it, and if I decide to not do a medicine cabinet, I might just do a full size mirror right up on that wall. So I just made a measurement of what I could do as far as a mirror, the width in between my sink and my wall here so I can get a shelving unit for the toilet area. My towel rack behind there, my hole from taking out the toilet paper um, dispenser, and also the shower curtain rod length, the width of my shower entrance. So there are all my measurements. And let's go out to the garage real quick, take a look at what I got Actually, out there. Actually, before we go out to the garage, this wall here, we have it painted like a light blue. As you can see the difference. And when I bought that paint, I just got a quart of it. The guy gave me a gallon, though, by accident. So, I still have a ton of paint. And I bet it'll finish this up. Here we go, got the medicine cabinet out, took the shelving unit down. There's that light, I still haven't taken that down, obviously. Ooh, a new vent. That would be a good thing to do, or just repaint that one. That's probably what I'll do. So anyway, all that wallpaper's gone. Now it's time to paint. All right, so here is the gallon of that light blue paint. Yeah, it only cost me fifteen twenty-eight because he only charged me for a quart. <laughs> so anyway, I got tons of paint in there. I still have some of these. I got my rollers. Um, I used to be a painter in Colorado. So I still have quite a bit of my equipment. My little tools of the trade. So I literally have to buy nothing for the painting portion. That's perfect. Alright guys, I need to take a break from this. My day off, right? <laughs> anyway, I am going to go to Lowe's with my measurements, just kind of go look around, maybe get some things, I don't know yet. 
I know I still need to paint. I think that'll, I'll do that tonight maybe, depending on how I feel, or tomorrow morning early. Um, I'll see, it's still early. I'm gonna go to Lozo and get out of this bathroom for a little while and uh, go check out what they got going on over there to see what I need. So I'll talk to you guys here in a few once I get back from Lowe's. All right guys, so I just got back from Lowe's, just looked at a few items, saw a nice sink and uh, vanity I might like and maybe some lights. But first thing I wanna do before I get that far ahead is patch up this hole. This was the big old porcelain toilet paper roller that went in there. This thing is massive, man. And a big old hole. So, I was going to grab drywall, but then I saw these. Fiba tape. Supposedly, you just put it on there. Use your patching compound. Self-adhesive. So you just peel it off. Make sure all of your debris and stuff is inside there. Center it. Stick that on like that and then you add some of your patch compound. Just so you know, I'm not a pro. <laughs> I'm just kind of winging it, man. That's what I do. When I do these projects for my, like remodels and stuff, I did the living room one time. But I just kind of go with it, see where it takes me, you know what I mean? They said put it on thick enough to where you're going to cover that whole thing up. So I need more. Alright, well. I'm just gonna let that dry for now. I'll come back and I'll sand it, and then I'll put another coat on or else I'm... Okay, so I took down the towel rod, and it makes more sense now that I'm thinking about it. Obviously, you put the patch on, you put as much compound on as you can, you wait for it to dry, sand it down, and then add your next layer of compound to actually finish it up. And the lighting in here sucks, so I think this video is gonna be kinda yellow, but, We'll see what it looks like when I get the new LED vanity lights that I saw at Lowe's that I think I like. Alright guys, so it's been over almost an hour, maybe a little more. And this stuff is still... I mean, it's starting to dry now, I suppose, but it's like powdery. It's very interesting. Once this dries, this is the Patch Plus Primer Spackle. I have, in the garage this um, dry decks spackling and this just feels so much better and creamier like it'll really go on smooth so once that dries I'm not using this kind of powdery I don't know it just ain't working for me I don't think so I'm gonna use this next for that second coat on there alright so let's just get a visual of what I have destroyed so far today <laughs> Took down the cabinets, got all the drywall, or I'm sorry, wallpaper off. Took down the towel rack, toilet paper holder, patching them up. It's gonna look good, guys. I've been looking at some beach themed bathrooms on Google Images. There's some cool stuff. I did see a sink and vanity I might like. If the mirror was there, you'd see me right now, but it ain't. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and watch Spackle dry. Talk to you later. So 100%, this is way easier to work with. It's a little more um, pliable. It's not as powdery as that other stuff. We're going to let them dry up, sand them, and do one final little spackle. Okay, guys, so just a little simple trick here you can do. Once your walls are all ready to get painted, before I do that, I grabbed a finishing nail. There's the hole right there that it was in. I found the studs in some certain areas. And then I just marked the ceiling up there with a little Sharpie dot. So now, I know where all of my holes are in my studs. Now all around, I have a couple of little dots up on the ceiling. I already painted the ceiling, 
so I'll just touch those little dots up when I'm done. But now when I paint the walls, I still have a marker to know where my studs are to hang stuff. So anyway, just a little quick helpful tip on, you know, when you're remodeling to mark your studs after you paint your walls. I'm just so dang handy, ain't I? <laughs> Alright guys, so day two is done. The walls are painted. The new vanity is almost in. That nice new sink. New faucet. I got a big old mirror to cover up in here. And the new lighting. So we're getting there. Still got some more to do tomorrow, but we are getting there. Alright guys, so got our new vanity in. Got our new sink in. I really like this sink. It's nice and big. Cool curvatures of it. Got the water going. So that is all set. Got a big old mirror. Excuse me, I don't have a shirt on yet. Leading up to those nice lights. Everything is a nice new paint job. I gotta go get a cover for the fixture today. I did not do anything yet with the rest of these walls. Everything is still, I'm gonna do a new shower curtain today. But all of this is bare. Because what I'm planning on is me and my wife going out and us actually picking out all the decorations. What I wanted to do is get the main thing done. The ceiling painted, the wallpaper off, the um, walls painted, and this section I want it all set up. But it looks lovely. It looks way better. That full mirror, she's going to really enjoy that, I think. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to do a couple little things today, but for the most part, this is how she's going to walk in on it. And um, then we just go from there. Finally, mission accomplished. Okay, so I've been off since Wednesday. It is Saturday morning. This is the first morning I actually came out on my front porch to sit down, relax, drink a cup of coffee. I've been putting in a lot of work the last couple of days on that bathroom. Um, I'm happy with how it came out. I'm pleased that it's finally in the stages of being done. Uh, and I know my wife is going to love it. The last scene I put on this video, I'll set up the camera inside the bathroom with the door closed when she gets home. And when she walks in, that's when we'll see the surprise. I think she'll be happy with it. And I think it'll be fun for us to actually go out together and decorate our bathroom. I could have did everything from what I thought she might want. But I think it'll be more fun if we do it together. So that's how we're going to do the rest of it. Um, there's always a crazy story on these construction jobs. You try and remodel something. Something always happens. Well, if I had a video of this, you guys would have loved it. So I'm pulling out the old vanity. My shutoff valves underneath the sink were pretty old. So they were not shutting the water off completely. So before I disconnected it from the sink, I was just moving the back panel of the old vanity. And it broke the um, plastic clamp up to the sink and water started shooting everywhere all I hear is Psh! so me I panic I'm like oh crap and I think I know where the shutoff main shutoff valve is in the backyard so I go running into the garage I look for a pair of pliers and some screwdrivers I go out there that thing is behind the chicken coop guys I haven't seen it's just a box inside the ground so it's level with the ground. I haven't seen that thing in years. So I'm out there moving pieces of wood from the wood pile and digging. I dug up like this much earth trying to find this damn box. Finally find it, get the top open, and, it's, and the box itself is full of dirt. Dig, 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 dig. And then um, finally find the shut off, shut it off, come back in. The bathroom's flooded. There's paper floating on it. Oh my god. The carpet going out front of the bathroom into the bedroom has got wet. 
So threw whatever towels down I had. That was a mess. And then I ran and got my uh, shop vac. And luckily I remembered that. Oh, I got a shop vac. All right. And sucked up all the water. And it was a mess. It was... It was a pain. This is a hard job. Just even doing that little bathroom, for me not having really experience, I just kind of go with it. I learn as I go, man. And I tell you what, it makes me appreciate that bathroom a lot more. That the water is working right now. I changed those valves out. No leaks anywhere. Good to go. So it's okay to not know exactly what you're doing when you go into a project. I mean, you'll figure it out. Just you got to do it, right? So that's why I like doing these, and um, I just am going to love the look on her face when she sees it. I, I know she's going to like it, so good deal. But anyway, that'll be the last um, image I put on this will be her walking through that door and, and seeing it for the first time. But I hope you enjoyed the reality of when I take a few days off when my wife is gone, I remodel. <laughs> so you guys have a good day, man. We'll talk to you later. Okay guys, so I did go to Target. I got a shower curtain. It's kind of like waves, you know, a little beach theme. Target did have this little stainless steel wire rack. Cheap. It was like 23 bucks. So no big time commitment there, you know. I just wanted to get something, you know, and then I got a few different towels, a candle, some other towels, and this hello nice rug for out front but let me tell you this place is looking good man oh yeah hello looking good I think it came out good guys I think it's a good surprise again I didn't put any pictures up I still haven't done like a towel rack and toilet paper holder I want us to go pick that stuff out together so but I wanted to at least decorate it a little bit and that little twenty three dollar uh, stand for the toilet. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, you redid the bathroom? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, there it goes on. Oh my god! We have a brand new sink! Oh my god, look at this! I don't look at that, that's normal. <laughs> I didn't do it all though, like... Yeah, because I got makeup stuff and things Well, no, like I didn't like buy the toilet paper thing, the towel thing. I figured we'd do that together and just the pictures and decorate. Yeah. I just did the main bulk of the bullshit. Awesome. I gotta throw a lot of stuff out, apparently. Yeah. you have a lot of stuff. Oh, you had a new bathroom. <laughs> I got a new bathroom. <laughs> we got a new bathroom. Yeah. You gotta get little pictures and stuff yeah. like that. 